you know, the biography, which we've already said, I've said on this podcast, we both said it, like, you know, when you're relying on biography of the writer to give a poem some type of meaning, or you think you're discovering something, like you're going about it the wrong way, this kind of obsession well, with and biographical I mean, analysis. There are times when that's really helpful, and it can be uh, illuminating. And this is this is one of my questions. But if if the poem on its own doesn't produce something beyond that, beyond like where you don't need to have their full biography in front of you, I mean, this is the issue. Like, I think Sylvia Plath is the obvious example oh God, where yeah. people love to read into her biography and her death and use that as a way of interpreting her poems to mean things that I don't. Some of which you could probably you, I mean, some of those interpretations you could get on your own without knowing her biography too. Yeah, and that's one like thing the I... phrase, "Daddy, Daddy, you bastard, I'm through." You don't need to know that she died not long after writing that poem to come up with the interpretation of "through" as dead. Yeah, I don't yeah. think it's the right. I don't think it's the right interpretation, but I think it's not that far of a reach. Yeah, and one thing he doesn't mention at all in this, which I was kind of surprised with, because he, he doesn't mention the confessional poets, um, Plath <clears throat> being, you know, probably the most famous <clears throat> for even people not in into poetry or literature. I can see why he wouldn't, though, because I think it's so talked about and I think he wanted to sort of broaden the way that maybe we were thinking about lyric poetry well, I mean we're also all obsessed with the confessional right well that's what we have been for a long time the reason I say I was surprised he didn't mention it is because he's talking about this narrativizing these poems or a speaker in a poem and how that's not necessarily the way to interpret a lyric but then <clears throat> you have to kind of grapple with the fact that there was this movement in the 20th century, mid 20th century that, uh, used that as a form of, of poetry. So, I mean, that clouded things, I think almost more than the novel dominating. This is the only reason I would think that he would bring it up because he's been so thorough about these kind of interpretations and he just kind of says, well, it's the novel's popularity and the novel did get very popular in the 20th century, but yeah, I mean, these this confessional movement I think has a huge part to do with why we're obsessed with biographical analysis, why we're obsessed with, you know, this kind of putting um, a speaker onto a lyric poem as he kind of argues against here or not so much that it's like putting a speaker onto a lyric poem so much as it's trying to imagine the specific speaker right so there's this idea that often in a lyric poem there's a sort of loose persona that speaks and it may or may not be in some regard the poet i don't think it matters really but that when we ask students you know who is the speaker of this poem who do we think it is uh what do we think is their situation what is happening in this poem i think what he's actually saying is in many cases it's not necessarily useful to imagine a specific speaker and their circumstances as some kind of fictional character right Putting or like real a character or yeah. like a real person it, i mean you just get the sense that there is someone speaking well that's what i mean that's why i think like it's imp it was i was kind of shocked that he didn't include confessional because like that's a huge part of confessional where it is considered to be the poet speaking, right? Although, it, you know, we can argue whatever it, it's not, yeah. but that was a huge part of it because it is confessional literally in that sense. So, and I mean, <clears throat> whatever, he was doing a very large historical kind of summary here. So, you know, you can't hit everything, but I was like, eh, whatever. But I wanted to ask before we move on from this into like the first couple chapters, 